dear children of st joseph welcome welcome to this day 9 today we shall re- reflect upon st joseph as the noble offspring of david the old testament prophets always taught that the messiah was to spring from the seed of david the great hero king and joseph was of the royal blood of david king david sent the ark away for almost 3 months but joseph took mary the new ark as his wife into his home what a great what a great saint we have in saint joseph let us pray Saint Joseph to you we have recourse in our affliction and having implored the help of your most holy spouse we now with hearts filled with confidence earnestly beg you to take us under your protection Saint Joseph pray for us so that we may have the grace to carry out our role and care for the people god has entrusted to us amen let us pray let's pray for our special intentions In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
to day nine of our preparation for consecration to St. Joseph, our spiritual father. Today we read about St. Joseph as the son of David, and this is an important distinction. The Old Testament tells us that the Messiah would come from the line of David. So Joseph, as Jesus' legal father, validates him as the Messiah coming from the line of David. Now today we also read from the spiritual wonders of St. Joseph, wonder number five, about the son of David. And I was drawn to a quote from St. Peter Chrysologus. It begins, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. The angel used those words to reassure Joseph. In my own spiritual journey, I have found myself drawn to images of the Annunciation, like the one behind me, as well as how Joseph came to take Mary into his home, how both Mary and Joseph came to say yes to the will of God. Now, traditionally, we've been taught that upon learning that Mary, his betrothed, was with child, Joseph did what any good Jewish man would have been expected to do. He would divorce her. To protect Mary, he planned to divorce her quietly. This is the noble Joseph I have in my heart and mind. St. Peter expounds on what the angel meant by Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. What you see in her is virtue, not sin. This is not a human fall, but a divine descent. This is not the betrayal of a person, it is the secret of the judge. Here is not some man's stealthy deed, but the treasure of God. Here there is cause not of death, but of life. Therefore, do not be afraid. St. Peter's interpretation builds on our typical assumption that when Joseph learned that Mary was with, was with child, he had his sus suspicions about her condition and about her faithfulness. In future readings, we're going to learn that there are several other theories about why Joseph reacted and acted as he did. This first theory that we read about today is the suspicion theory. And in our future readings, we're gonna hear theories about why Joseph's thinking and actions might have come from a whole other spiritual place. So stay tuned. But for today, let us pray. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the son of God, pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph most just, pray for us. Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most courageous, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, 
Protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. 